Hello friend, in this video lecture I am going to discuss about how to import text or CSV file data into our studio. So here we need to go on the file tabs, here you can see import data set. So here from text base, now here you can select uh, all files and here I am going to import to uh, all files. So here you can see we can import the file one. So file one is the or csv file click on open so here or oh, this is the file one and uh, if you want to change the heading okay so by clicking this you can see here this the v1 v2 v3 it's come there now i'm going to not using any heading now here after row s pen you can make here this is the by default it's a comma now you can use the first so here use first uh, columns and uh, here after this is the use first use number so you can use here columns and this is the automatic now separated here this is all comma separated now you can give a uh, uh, semi or colon so semicolon or you can give and uh, here after so this is so uh, here comma separated is fine and if I give here semicolon so you can see this is uh, it's all changed and uh, now here after you can give the wide space then you can get the output like this so here after this is the tab option so here comma separated is fine now here after decimal so you can give comma okay so th this is the decimal or uh, sorry decimal here you can see period so no any changes that font in the data frame and uh, here you can give single code double code so here this is uh, none and here double code by default it's fine comment if you want then you can give here comment and uh, now in a string a string factors you can enable or disable so here click on this import now you can get this so uh, uh, data so file one is the csv find so how do we see this is the csv so let's go on file one and uh, here let's right click on it and here after click on properties so here you can see this is the microsoft comma separated values so here and uh, if i go on the details file one is the csv file now here after i want to import this text files so import the text files so you need to follow the same procedure or you can just click here import data 6 now let's go on the desktop file 1 and uh, text 20 click on open so here this is the data you can get uh, here and uh, v1 v2 v3 it will display like this because it has no any or no any column so that it's a data frame it's taken v1 v2 v3 two or uh, rows are there and if you want to change the name so let's give for uh, here employee employee it's fine now here after you can or uh, give uh, so this this the way that uh, display now no need to change anything it's all fine click on import so here you can see v1 v2 v3 it's uh, there so here you can see make that up make that uh, and uh, if you want to do the some filtering so here click on this here i want to give uh, at this place 10 so here press enter only 10 record it's a uh, display okay so this is the way we can do the filtering and uh, here after this is the option now i want to save right click on it or uh, at this place and uh, here this option i'm not getting so what we need to do here you can and there is one more thing here data employs two obs and eight obs 11 variable three variable now here after uh, i want to uh, save for uh, this one so here we have uh, other option right click on it here save ms after that you can save the ms in anywhere let's uh, say xyz give the file name and uh, here after 
or copy image reload here when you want to copy it's copied now you can paste anywhere and uh, here after so this the way we can easily import so let's see about the excel file so excel file uh, you need to uh, create one uh, new excel file so here microsoft or uh, excel worksheet that i created now here after let's give uh, f i v a 5 and uh, now i'm going to put the some data inside the excel file so what we need to do let's copy the data from or uh, this txt this is the record control c and uh, open this excel file now let's uh, paste uh, there and uh, so it's the uh, same excel file now here after the same procedure import data set so this time you need to uh, select from excel so preparing so here we need to import some uh, packages click on yes so it will import the uh, some important packages from here you can see uh, you, here you can see or uh, changes installing read excel from excel for excel import this location that uh, installing it has three files so and now uh, two files it's done now installing the third files so here you can see downloaded atkb and three of three installed dx uh, redux it's so uh, i think uh, it's almost uh, done 1.6 mb is the size now you need to browse the url so here i just created one excel file name is name is five click on import so here retrieving uh, preview data it's uh, retrieving the data it's now in the process so here i just saved uh, this uh, data now here you can change the maximum rows so five is the file name so you can change here uh, let's give uh, emp and uh, maximum rows uh, i want to uh, uh, give here like uh, 50 now if you want to escape then you can escape and uh, this the default or uh, this the seat one it's uh, taken and no need to change anything click on this import so it's uh, start doing the import and this is the data that comes there and the name emp 5 obs one variable now here after uh, if you see here you can make that up down so if you want to see last record you can see so this is the way we can import here csv text and excel file inside our studio so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you